So even to study for lipase producers, uh, what we normally use is Gorodkova's agar, in which the source of lipid normally is olive oil, or you could also make a different type of a media uh, wherein you add tributyrin as the source of lipid. So what I have right now in my hand is a tributyrin containing media, which you can call is tributyrin agar, or its composition is just like Gorodkova. The only difference is that uh, the source of lipid in this is going to be tributyrin. So I'll be passing a few strains on this and I will be incubating it uh, depending on the strains that I'm using uh, on this particular plate. Again, I could do a proper isolation technique on this plate or I could even spot inoculate uh, and look for a zone of clearance after there is growth. So uh, it's, it's actually, I don't know if it's very clearly visible, but you should be able to see droplets on the plate. I think that is very much visible. And these droplets are basically of the lipid. And this is for a basic reason that you know that lipid is not completely miscible, completely soluble in uh, uh, water, in any aqueous medium. So you end up seeing uh, the oil droplets, the lipid droplets on the media. Okay, so that's the best way of even identifying the plate. So you can see that there are a lot of oil droplets on it. So I am going to go ahead with the isolation and I'll put it for incubation and 24 hours later we will see what happens with this particular plate. So uh, yesterday I also passed culture for uh, testing for lipase producers on the Gorodkova agar or the tributyrin agar and I passed few strains. I passed uh, bacillus uh, to check if bacillus has the production of lipase or not but uh, you can see that it doesn't have that evident a clearance but there is some amount of slight clearance that you could see around the streaks if you see the uh, plate carefully okay but i will show you how the evident clearance looks like so if you look at this plate i am sure that you can very evidently uh, see the clearance around the colonies right so wherever the streak is you can see that there is a lot of clearance around it and it is very evident that this is a uh, indeed a lipase producer Right, So this is an unknown strain. What I did was I wanted to look for a very good lipase producer. So I exposed this plate to air and uh, I isolated a few strains but still this looks to be a mixed culture. But uh, I was trying to isolate from that particular air exposed plate uh, whether we have any lipase producer or not. But you can see that here there is indeed uh, good clearance that you could see on the tributrinagar. I also, uh, you know, passed Pseudomonas, which is known to be a uh, lipase producer. So you can see that even around the streaks of Pseudomonas, uh, you can very clearly see the uh, clearance zone. So this is also an indication that Pseudomonas aeruginosa is also a lipase producer. Okay, so all the strains that we have passed over here, whether it is Bacillus, whether it is uh, Pseudomonas or whether it is the unknown strain, uh, all of them are showing us clearance, though in case of Bacillus, the clearance is very low. Uh, while in case of Pseudomonas and the unknown strain, it uh, is really showing us a very good clearance, right? So uh, this was the air exposure plate which I had uh, kept in open and you, could, you can very evidently see that around this particular colony, there is a good zone of uh, clearance, right? Even uh, here, the bigger one, you can see that there is a slight clearance, but... Uh, uh, it, not as evident as it is in terms of this particular colony or even the colony present over here, right? So uh, this was what I had purified, tried to purify on Tributrinagar again, but still it seems to be a mixed culture and maybe uh, we can purify it ahead and uh, look for the quality of uh, or the yield of lipase that it gives because you could see that the clearance is very, very evident over here, right? So uh, these two strains, that is this unknown strain and the pseudomonas is something which has given us a very good lipase production. Okay, so this is how you will see a clear zone around uh, the colonies on Tributrinagar if it is a lipase producer. So I hope that uh, this has been helpful for you and uh, hoping to see you guys again with some experiments being performed in the lab which we could demonstrate it to you. Thank you.